today we're going to be exploring and investigating an abandoned mansion that was built in 1777. The mansion was lived in for nearly 200 years but was changed to a boarding school in 1956. But in 1966 the school closed and the place has been abandoned ever since. Now not long before the school closed it was actually convicted of holding secret meetings and radicalisation training. So paranormal side of things, back when this place was a house there was actually a servant who was hung from a tree out the back. He was caught interfering with his boss or the master of the house's wife, um, which is a bit cheeky isn't it? But when this place was a boarding school a child was actually pushed or fell from a balcony. Now paranormal teams have been there, this place has been abandoned for 27 years. They've uh, caught EVPs, children running, laughing. Some have said that they've seen the ghost of this servant that was killed there. We're just hoping to go there, see if we can capture any proof for ourselves. So guys, with all that said, let's do it. What is up guys, we are inside the old mansion now. This place is absolutely unbelievable. Been abandoned for 27 years. You can see there is a lot of vandalism in the place, but some of the artifacts that are still inside are absolutely stunning. Look at these staircases, amazing marble fireplaces. So we're just gonna have a little wander around, gonna do a little investigation, see if we pick anything up. Just investigate whilst we go. This place is absolutely unbelievable. You guys are gonna love it. And I'm so excited to have a look around. You ready for this? Yeah. So here you are explorers, look at this absolutely stunning marble fireplace. This has got to be seven foot. Look at the lion's heads. All the patterns in there, absolutely stunning. The big oak shelves above it. Look at the detail in the, in the banisters as well. Unreal this mat. It's crazy. Isn't it? Marble, literally everywhere old wooden floors crazy this bro look at the ceiling all the gold around the outside big chandelier with a pair of boxer shorts hanging from them <laughs> see, see them there <laughs> no idea why, why is there a shoe on top of an absolutely beautiful oak door frame unreal bro the huge windows i'm guessing this would have been the entrance back when it was a mansion you reckon? Yeah, of course it would have. Oh no, the doors. Yeah, look, look. Yeah, the doors there, isn't it? Gotta watch these floors though, look at this. Look, here's the big oak double doors. Check that out. I'm definitely saying a place like this has tunnels. When you're outside, you can actually see there's like an exit over there, isn't there? It was built in what, 1777? 1777. Yeah. Going on 200 years old, isn't it? It is, mate. And look at this. The huge high ceilings. Amazing old original flooring. Just check out the windows. The big pillars holding up the oak. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm loving it, Matt. So because this place is so big, we are just going to pick out, we're going to cherry pick the best rooms and show you them. 
and then we're going to find an absolutely amazing room where we get some activity and we're going to do a paranormal investigation. So, 300 year old mansion, mate. There's going to be something. We've just got to find out who's still here. Heading into these back rooms now. It is like the back rooms. Fridges, still here. These have been here for 27 years, explorers. All the sinks. It is pretty cleared out now though, but I'm not surprised to be honest. Look at these. Big back rooms, big dry stores. These would have been absolutely teeming with food at one point. All the sinks. Big chest freezers. Oh. That's where you hide the bodies. But guys, this place is just so big. It just goes on forever. Look down that corridor there. Just goes on for absolutely ages. More big freezers. Check it out, guys. Not bad condition, to be honest. Well, I've seen better. But the corridors just go on forever. Yo. Hello? I swear I just heard footsteps. Okay. I just wanted to check this out as well. Look at this. Proper old retro vending machine. Virgin Cola, Matt's favorite. Still got the little dials. Cool that though, cool little find. Never actually looked inside one of these. But look at this. It's obviously where they turn. Crazy. Like you can see, it is bare back bones here. <laughs> Paint peel. Look at these orange radiators, vile things. But I'm sure I've just heard someone up here. It's a big place, guys. I'm really looking for the tunnels. I love underground, anything like that. Creepier the better for me. But with this, like we said, being a 300 year old mansion, old mansions had servant tunnels so they could move around without being seen and heard. This place has got to have them. And with paranormal activity, we have heard stories that a child fell over the banister on the big wooden stairs and passed away here. One of the old owners of the place actually had his help killed for interfering with his wife, we'll put it that way. And the owner found out wasn't too pleased about it as you wouldn't be and literally had the help hung on the grounds crazy crazy stories here guys but you're gonna get that in a 300 year old mansion okay so i've just found this room here look at this door all the patterns in here i'm so on edge though look at this floor completely collapsed in but the big bay windows there, a chandelier just at the top, a bit dark there with the light. But there's some bedrooms here too, old bedrooms from when it was a boarding school. Mate, this is epic. It's crazy, yeah, look at the doors, look at the patterns so in them. Like, yeah, the crazy, it? it is, yeah. Old staircases. Mate, I'm absolutely loving this. Yeah. I just want to check out a couple of these rooms. I hope there's still books on here, Matt. Yeah. Messiah. What do we have? Um, the Cages of Eagles. I'm not really sure what this is, which way up that goes either. Hang on, that looks like that way. Did they read the other way? But look, this is from when it was a religious school. Why are the books open in the wrong way? Is this... Do they read the other way to us? I'm not sure. Well, that's interesting. I've never seen that before. All the writings. Look, I'm not sure what it means like, obviously, but... How cool is that? Just these books that have been sat here for nearly three decades. Paint peel, absolutely beautiful. You can actually see the structural damage behind the wallpaper where it's peeling away as well. All bubbling as well. Shame. 
absolute shame that books so this is a library I think or part of the library I know that there is a huge library in some part of this building but it's just finding your way around the place is so big and you have to be actually really careful with the floors another old classroom here look at the old ceilings before they put the false ceiling up there amazing amazing place I'm just gonna make my way over here here's the towers I do want to see the old towers see if we can get up inside them oh guys it goes down have I found the basement oh my days this is so eerie the vibes in this place look at the old slit windows from when it was a mansion huge doors let's just check that out down this way that's obviously an old lift shaft but it's been filled in oh my guys there's the towers that way there's another way out there so this should be where the towers are yet. Yeah. So we're at the bottom of the towers now. False ceiling. So I've got a couple of checkpoints I definitely want to try and hit. I want to get in the towers. I've seen the huge staircase and the tunnels. Mate, the vibes change down here. Yeah. You feel it? Yeah, did you notice the book was like? Because they, I don't know what... Um... Yeah, they read backwards. Yeah, I know, I was so confused. I was like, is that upside down? And then I realised... <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it did throw me off. I've never seen anything like that before. No. I know um, Chinese read up to down as well. Whoa, I nearly fell over then. I said nothing. Nothing, bro. <laughs> but this is just like a labyrinth. This is why I've come down here. I thought it was a church, man. To try and find the tunnels because the tunnels are obviously going to be in the yeah, old part the tunnels, eh? no you've not looked up no that's the set that's the lifts oh, well, that's the lifts so this is so creepy mate it's like yeah. the back rooms isn't it yeah you know it just goes on forever yeah oh, such a creepy vibe in here man. it is it genuinely is like a really creepy feeling I don't know, it just goes on forever though, doesn't it? These are just like uh, dormitories, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it smells old in here, It does, dusty. Yeah. So these are old dormitories, and we need to find, I'm guessing it's gonna be in the original part. Do you know what I mean? I am right. <laughs> yeah. You probably are, I'm lost. It's quite amazing. It is. Should we head up a floor? Yeah, can do. And then we can look for the tunnels after? Yeah. And do the paranormal in the tunnels? Let's do it. Let's go. Look at this. Hello, I died here on the 2nd of July 2005. I died an unpleasant death and I plan to do the same to anyone who there's trespass and then a name something Hussein that I can't actually make out so look at this though it's set up in such a strange way isn't it yeah but these are dormitories see look at the old staircase though Matt it goes on back here mate it just goes on forever so somebody claimed to have died in 2005 here. I don't know how they rip in chalk, but. <laughs> Fair play to them. Yeah. Well, hopefully we can pick up on some soon. I'm just trying to find out if we can get to the top of the towers. I don't think we can from this way. I think we're still in, we're in the towers now. This is one side, this is the other. 
and they are dormitories Such from when it was a boarding school. Do you know what I mean? It is, it's so eerie as well. I didn't see any more stairs up though. Oh, I nearly went flying. <laughs> That's just in case you want to wash your hands when you're walking down the hallway. No, there's nothing up there, bro. I wonder where them stairs lead. Reckon it's just back down to where we were? Yeah, let's go down them. This is what we're just getting lost. And the place is absolutely massive, isn't it? It is. Look at this paint pit. Did you hear that then? Yeah, it was like a tap on it. On one of those. It was quite loud as well. Yeah. Okay, so we're back at the lift, Matt. We're back at the lift. There's the way out. So we found some more stairs, Hope Explorers. Look at this whole retro wallpaper. We've literally just heard tapping coming from here. Right, just be careful with the floor. This looks like it's being renovated. It's so creepy. Right? This is like an apartment that's been renovated, Matt. Oh. It looks like it, yeah. Look at the paint peel. Yeah. I've said the door's closed upstairs, mate. Bro. I'm not even joking, man. I heard it. I thought it was you coming yeah, through that door. It was that loud. It's downstairs, mate. Oh. Bro, this is wild. Ah, look. I can't stand on this floor. But there's the tower through that ceiling. So we're in the tower now. It does go up, but they've took the stairs away. And there's a false ceiling, so you can't see above it. No, proper view, it? no that was a loud bang then. It, was, it sounded like a door closing, man. It did. I think we're going to have to uh, grab that box, Matt. Grab the paranormal equipment. And then we're going to have to start, bro. We're going to have to, we're going to, have to do something. We'll go this, head this way first. It is literally just like a maze. Mate, I'm hearing so many noises. Are you? Check out this office. All the Islamic writing. No idea what it says. Old dusty TV there. But guys, we are hearing knocks and bangs, doors closing. It's so freaky. We might have to just start our normal now. And then we'll try and find the tunnels later. Because we are getting some sick activity already. Just gotta be so careful where we're walking to. We're back on the main staircase. There's another staircase up, Matt. There's another left. Yeah, there's another staircase up. Bannister's long gone. But if we're hearing noises, we have to investigate them. So where did that door bang come from? It was down below. Can you believe how uh, decayed this place is? There is someone driving around outside. What's going on? Like a quad bike. I can't see him. Like a quad bike or something driving around outside. Oh, there he is. So, oh no, it's a farmer on the field. We're all right. We're good, guys. We're good. Matt, where are you, bro? These are all... Look at that old window, guys. Beautiful. Ooh. The floors are so dodgy. Pug three. But you can just imagine when this was an old mansion. Just imagine how grand it was. It would have been absolutely insane. I'd have loved it. Where are you? You're down, yeah? 
But guys, we are going to start our investigation now because we're hearing noises, footsteps, bloody doors slamming. There's something in here, mate. Yeah, that's it's so creepy. It I'm is. Sweat here. I'm on his study. <laughs> Alright, guys. You ready for this? Okay, guys, so we're going to begin today with the Spirit Talker app. This is going to pick up on any word. The music box is on the stairs in case somebody passes the threshold on the stairs. We've also got the REM pod up on the stairs as well. So we're just going to begin with the Spirit Talker, like I said. So, if there's any spirits in this room with us right now, do you want to speak to us through this device? Do you want to break the threshold on one of the devices on the stairs? Sometimes it does start off really slow, doesn't it? But then it picks up later on. Like we said, we've got the device on the stairs. This has already gone off. <laughs> and then we've got the REM pod over there. Hear me. Hear me. We're listening. Have you got anything that you'd like to say to us? Any messages to pass on? It was like a footstep from upstairs. I'm hearing a lot of stuff in there now. That was quite clear though. Yeah. Came from up above. Right, so we've got hear me. Mate, the music box went off. And a footstep upstairs. And the footstep upstairs. <gasps> Hello? It was. That was weird. So we got hear me, and then we've just heard two noises. That was strange. I was like coming through there, mate. Like a full on footsteps through that door. Is there anything else that you'd like to say to us? Do you want to make any more knocks and bangs? Let us know that you're here with us. Let us know that you're here with us. Mate. Proper arrangement. It is proper vibes in this yeah. place. So we're listening. You said hear me. Like someone's just strangled a beard. <laughs> and again. That was weird. Oh, mate. Please leave here. Please leave here. Hear me, please leave here. Why do you want us to leave? So guys, straight up. Are we not allowed to be here? Is there a reason you don't want us here? Rempo. Predict. 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 Predict what? What do you want to predict? Would you like to touch one of the devices on the stairs, the REM pod, the, the red light? Or if you pass the music box, it will set it off and set off a tune. And let us know that you're here. Why do you want us to leave here? Literally in like a 300 year old mansion. This is... REM pod again. I'm so unnatural, it's crazy. Is that you that's on the stairs? Is there somebody on the stairs? Do you want to come down? I just got a pure cold breeze. Did you feel it? Yeah. Do you want to walk down the stairs and make yourself known to us? Maybe stand up Patricia. in the music box. Patricia. Patricia. Mate. Come on, come down the stairs. Tell us why you don't want us here. Patricia could have been the help. She could have been one of the yeah. owners of this place once upon a time. It's an old name, man. It's yeah. Name There's so much history to this place as well. So we've got, hear me, please leave here. 
Predict Patricia. It's a bit random, eh? Rempog is having some sort of epi over there. And the uh, music box went off. Literally full stop, right? Where from? I keep hearing them. i am open my camera's pick now. Can you come closer to us? If you walk down the stairs, come to the bottom. Come on, tell us why you don't want us here. Bro. Someone's coming. I just someone's coming down the stairs. Someone's coming. Someone's coming. That's getting a bit stronger. Yeah. Who's coming? Can you tell us who's coming? Not letting go. <laughs> Can you tell us why you don't want us here? Are we supposed to be scared of the person that's coming? I wish I knew more scared. Yes, yeah, so I don't know either. It just sounds similar. Come on, tell us who's coming. Tell us why you don't want us here. Is this a spirit that passed away here? Is this the, the servant that was hung? Is it the small boy who fell from the banister? Come on, tell us who it is. Tell us your name. We don't mean any harm. There's no need to be scared of us if you are. Bro, check this out. Come on, copy what I'm doing. Touch the red device, walk down the stairs. Tell us who's coming. Tell us why you don't want us here. Assault. Assault. Were you assaulted? Were you pushed from the banister? Can you tell us by setting one of the devices off? You can speak to us through this device as you have been. You can throw something, make a knock or a bang. We won't harm you. We won't harm you. Can you come down and speak to us? Just get closer. There's no need to be scared of us. It seems quite polite. Mm, it does not. Hear me, please leave. No. Someone's coming. Bro, straight away. I once lived here. I said, didn't I? Were you an owner? I once lived there. So we, we won't harm you either. You can speak to us. You can set one of the devices off. I was asking it to throw something, wasn't I? Yeah. It said, we won't harm you. That was literally right yeah. next to us. That was literally right next to us. It sounded like it was behind me, like here somewhere. I once lived here. Can you tell us if you were a servant that lived here, if you passed away here? Can you tell us if you were the boy that was pushed, that died here? We don't mean you any harm either. We are just coming to have a look around, possibly speak to somebody that's trapped here. Are you a spirit that's trapped here? Do you want to be here? So many questions, isn't it? Was this your home or maybe it's just somewhere you love? Well, I said once lived here. Yeah, yeah, true. Are you trapped here? Or are you happy to be here? Do you feel like we're invading your space? Is that why you want us to leave? We don't mean to. Man. 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 We haven't had any manly names yet, have we? No. Man. Who pushed you? Man. Can you make another knock or a bang? It might be me. Come on, what did the man do? Or is this the man we're speaking to? Can you set one of the devices off again? Can you copy what I did earlier by touching them? Bro, it's so weird here. I'm so glad, man. I am. It doesn't even feel normal, does it? It's like it's... 
But like I said, we won't harm you. And it does seem quite polite does compared it? to normal. Yeah, it said I'm coming. Like I said, can you come down to us? Yeah. It's like you said, like I'm on my way. That's when the device went off. Yeah, and I stopped. If it's the small boy that passed away here, can you tell us your name? Or if it's an owner that once lived here, can you tell us the name of the servant that was hung here? Apparently he interfered with your wife. Is that true? Tall. Tall. A tall man. You said small boy. Were you a tall boy? Impose. Impose. What do you think that could mean? No. We impose him. Do you feel like we're on your territory? We're in your house? Would you like us to leave then? I know they did tell us to leave, but maybe impose him. I've got a pretty horrible feeling. Oh, yeah. It's very like... I do feel like I was like knocked back yeah, then. Because I was just, thing. I was just turning and then, you know, like I walked into something or something. Yeah. Strange that. Come on, make a knock or a bang, set a device off, tell us to leave. You can do anything like that. With, see all these crows flying past. I know. The pure like, murder of crows. There's about a thousand of them that flying along. It's not a good sign. A murder of crows. Mm, it's proper gothic in it, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, give us one more interaction. Can you tell us to leave? Can you tell us if you're the boy that was pushed? He's over there. Tell us if you're here, he's over there. That was like someone else saying that. Yeah. Can you tell us where he is? Who it is? Bro. It sounds like proper footsteps, doesn't it? That's four footprints. Yeah. Maybe, was it a head teacher? Are they scared of it? Kind of getting that vibe. That it's like someone they're scared of. Yeah, like a really strict, yeah. strict head teacher. Yeah, look, please leave. He's coming. He's, someone's coming. Someone's coming, yeah. It does feel like that. Maybe the man, tall man, imposing. Could have been that, yeah. yeah it yeah, feels yeah. like a head teacher kind of vibe. Yeah. He's over there. Is that what you just got? That's what he said last. Oh, I thought you just got it again. Give us one more. That like really pushed my luck in it. Yeah. We probably don't want to... Bro. We can knock. We can knock. Can you do a knock for us then? Let's turn that off and listen. We can knock. Can you do a knock for us? You don't have to play with any of the devices. Just do a knock. <laughs> That's literally here. Yeah, it's like under your camera. It literally come from here. Yeah. Thank you for knocking. Can you do it again for us? That was so weird. It was literally from right next yeah, to us. Can you do one more knock? Can you do one more knock? That's like tapping. It's like tapping from under the floorboards. Yeah, but what's under them? It looks quite deep. No, it's like a, what do you call it? A little crawl space. Yeah. That was so weird, it was like... Yeah. It's 
like proper quick little taps. Yeah. Can you do one more tap for us, please? Then we'll leave you in peace, we'll move on. Can you make a loud bang for it so we can clip? Hear it clearly. Just one loud bang. That, you're not moving. No, I don't it sounds like it's coming from I'm underneath you. I don't know if I'm about to float, go through this floor or what. <laughs> so Joe or Stuart, can you do one last tap for us? If it's the little boy that was pushed from this balcony. Bro, that's tapping's coming from where he would have landed. I can feel it under my foot, mate. I can feel like little, little knocks, mate. His little fingers. Yeah, like literally under there. So guys, we're heading into what is an old theatre hall for when it was a boarding school. Look at this, guys. Still got the stage, still got the old school chairs still here. Look at this, this stone was placed in recognition of service given by Alderman Geraint Williams in 1968. But look at this. It's just a, like a plaque, a memorable plaque. The stage still here. All the performances that would have been on here once upon a time. Strange one, isn't it, bro? Here we go, backstage. These are like changing rooms. So cold, you know. Oh, it's locked. Right guys, we think we've come across the tunnels. It does head down that way. Maybe, maybe not, but we're gonna have to check it out, definitely. So the stairs down, yeah. but the door's locked, so we're gonna have to go around the outside of it. You ready? Hopefully we can find these tunnels, bro. We're currently looking for me. We haven't found the tunnels, but we have found a gigantic <laughs> swimming pool. No way. Look at this, guys. What? Massive swimming pool. Wait, I was not expecting that. No, I wasn't. Not quite tunnels, but this is so cool, isn't it? Mad. Wait, this is mental. Isn't it? We were looking for yeah, look at this dome that it's under. How weird's that? I wouldn't really like a swim in there, though, would you? No. <laughs> Looks very um, unhygienic. It does, doesn't it? 